Today we're going to have some fun with Azure Data Factory's Dataflow Expression Language. We're going to focus today on string interpolation and parameters. So let's get started. So on my design surface, you can see I already have it primed with a Dataflow with a bunch of transformations on it. But let's focus the bottom panel, the configuration panel, and notice that I have a bunch of parameters. I have four parameters. Let's go top to bottom. The first one is a file name. So with this, I can send in a string, which is a file name, and every time I execute, have this data flow right to a different file name. In fact, even my data sets are parameterized. And you can look at your, and set your parameters here in this debug mode, in your design mode, by going over to debug settings. And you can see on the parameters tab that I have a data set parameter, as well as my data flow parameters. So next on my parameters list is a parameter I'm going to use for my parameterizing my SQL source query. So I'm taking the column called grade I'm setting a parameter for. So I called my parameter as param grade and I'm, and I'm setting it to a default value of D. These are all the default values over here. It's a string. Okay. Next, the field name. So my field name is going to be a field that is of double type, which is called loan under amount. So notice how in here I do not have an actual double or um, what looks more like a string, but this string is actually a column reference that happens to be a double. So for my default, I've clicked the input schema of loan amount. So loan amount comes from my input schema, and you notice that it is, in fact, a number type that matches with a double. And then the last one is a field name that's a string. So this is an actual reference to a name of a column called title. So I put it in single quotes. So there are my four parameters. Let's first work with this bottom one. We'll go from the bottom up here. We'll use the string reference to a field called type. This column doesn't have to be of type string. I'm just saying that the string is the name of a field. Okay, so this is field name too. So how you, the way that you reference this then in your data flow is you would use a derived column. Derived column is going to have the expression language capability of a function called by name. So I'm now going to create hardened schema around. I'm going to call it title. And what I'll do is I will do what we consider a metadata lookup and we'll say by name. So now by name is going to have in it a single parameter I'm going to use in this case, which is going to be the incoming field name too. And that's it. So now I actually want to do one more thing and that is I want to also cast this to the type of that field. So I happen to know this one's going to be a string, but if it was integer or double or whatever, I would just use that casting function of two double or two integer. So now I'll be able to, from this point on, have the metadata called title and that actual name of that column can change based upon whatever parameter I send to my data flow at that time. So now if you look at my outgoing metadata, you'll see a column called title. That's how you would use that. So now let's look at the other parameters on my data flow. And let's go again, bottom up, and we have field names. This is a reference to an actual field called loan amount. And I'm telling Data Factory that it's of type double. This is useful to just reference and, and utilize that column via that parameter name directly. So now I could do something like this. Now when I have, let's say, a join, I could reference a dynamic column. So add a join transformation here. And my left side is the source one, and I know that I have a low in amount coming in. For the right hand side, I'll just use this guy up here. It doesn't really matter for this demo files, that's fine. Then on the right hand side, I'm going to use computed columns. I'm going to go into my exp and I will use that parameter of field name. This is already a set to a double, so the types will match. And now every time I execute this, I can set that in a different column reference. All right, so let's keep working through the parameters bottom up, and now we're at param grade, so this is a parameter for the grade. Now grade is part of the schema that I'm using here. This schema in my source is the loans database. I'll show you my loans database here in, in SQL. It is a scatter right here with many different columns. All I want is the loan amount. And I want the loan amount only for loans that are uh, where the grade is equal to a D. So if I execute this again, just to show you the query right there, so there you go, so there's all the loan amounts for grade equal to D. So I want this query, but I want it to be dynamic. So I can take this query from my management studio and go back into Data Factory under source options and I can say, give me a query. We're going to use dynamic content and I'm going to use string interpolation. So string interpolation is simply double quotes within Data Factory Dataflow. And I will paste that query in as is. That will be just fine, but this is not dynamic, right? I actually want this grade to be based upon a value I pass in as a param. So we'll put that into these 
curly braces, and I'll say param, grade, which is the name of my parameter. And now this will be dynamic, and I just keep the double quotes, the select statement as is, and just replace the literal value with a parameter. So now, so then when we preview the data, we'll see that we have the same results that we had in Management Studio. It depends on whatever the grade is. The grade that I have in the parameters just happens to be defaulted to a D. Every time I run this, I could have that set to a different value. Now to take that string interpolation even one step further, some of the cool things you do with it is, let's do an aggregation on this. So let's say, for example, I wanted to aggregate across the entire data set, so I'm not going to use a group by. Let's say I wanted to sum up that loan amount that I'm bringing in from that query. So let's call this total amount. And let's say I wanted to sum it, the loan amount. But let's also round it because it's going to be a little bit ugly, so we're going to round it by two. And let's also make it look good. Let's give it uh, some... Uh, some nice string formatting here. Let's give this, uh, let's see, so this is single quotes with a print. Let's see, and we'll say how about um, number, number, comma, one, two, three, dot, like that. There we go. So we give it a nice sort of um, currency formatting, right? Okay, so let's save and finish. Let's see what we got when we do this. This is no string interpolation here. This is just basic aggregation and using the string formatting natively within the expression language in Dataflow. Uh, now if we were to use string interpolation, some of the fun you can have with that is you can build anything at all with strings in line with string interpolation. So I and here now I could say something like this. I could say the total amount for all loans is, and I can make it look real nice like that in double quotes. And then all I want to do is just put my entire expression within curly braces. So the entire expression language is available to you within string interpolation. You can incorporate that together with your strings. So now when I preview this, what I'm going to get is the exact same value returned, but with a nice string associated with it too. And there you go. So this had to have some fun with string interpolation parameters within Dataflow expression language.